The following is from a three-part entry highlighting the game Radical Rabbit Stew. Enjoy. Radical Rabbit Stew isn't a rage game, though it can often look like one. The chaos that appears on screen in some of the more difficult stages can be quite overwhelming on the first or second try, but soon the stage becomes beatable, and finally masterable. This, this game's flavor of crash and burn player failure reminds me of another great indie game called Puss, which does everything it can to frustrate the player while keeping them engaged still. What separates Radical Rabbit Stew from the rest is the tight controls and solid mechanics, and it is due to those that it earns its sense of difficulty and thus stays engaging from stage 1 all the way to the final boss. It plays comfortably while also remaining quite tense. It is really the kind of game that could make one holler out in reaction to some kind of close call. It forces the player to approach the puzzles in a much more impulsive way than your average puzzle game. Think of Tetris a step above the speed of level 9. While keeping the intensity up, the learnability of the game is shockingly easygoing. Most stages are designed to fail, restart, fail, and restart all in a couple minutes so it doesn't get boring or frustrating to attempt to learn the game on a deeper level. By the end of the game, not only is the player given the tools to win, but they're also forced to learn the vital problem-solving skills to succeed as well. Blue coins can be found in various stages requiring players to think about the puzzle in a different way and to add extra steps. The choice to get all 69 coins, nice, is optional but adds a lot of fun replayability to the game's single player stages. With this, players can challenge themselves to custom made stages and challenge their friends with a versus mode, a couple of great additions to this modern arcade formula. I found Radical Rabbit Stew on the Nintendo eShop for about $2.99. It was on sale among a bunch of other indie titles that were varied in quality. Many were like Earthlock, ambitious projects I would like to cover in the future, and others like the Dot Cat trilogy which are stones better left unturned. The game came out in 2020 and lacks the kind of attention I think it deserves. On the surface, it seems like just another pixel indie game with a silly premise. But diving deeper, it's easy to tell that developers really cared about their craft with this project and put a lot of passion into the game. Radical Rabbit Stew's marketing included a collection of rabbit me recipes and some social media action on the developer's part, and it just seems like the game itself doesn't draw enough attention. I would like to invite, if the reader is so inclined, to check out Radical Rabbit Stew. It's on just about every platform, and it's easy to pick up and an absolute blast to play.